Hello from Blades Music. Tonight's video is about optimizing your PC for DAW use. And uh, I hope that you are going to get a useful tip out of this. It's going to be short and sweet. Three things that you can do to optimize your computer quickly amongst all the many different options that are out there. Stay tuned. So this last weekend, I got a new computer. After troubleshooting my old computer for a week and a half straight, as a technician trying to fix it and trying to fix it, I knew there was a hardware problem. I couldn't track it down. It wasn't the memory, or maybe it was. It wasn't the CPU, or maybe it was. It was none of the drives. I couldn't even get through a Windows install without crashing. And then it finally started behaving for some unknown reason. And as someone who deals with IT all the time, things that don't have an explanation never end up turning out well. So I finally broke down and I actually bought a new computer. And I never have done this. I always build my computers from scratch. But this time I was like, I'm over it. I'm not doing it this time. So I got a new computer. I went for spec this time, got a pretty decently loaded system. This is an i7 10th gen with 32 gig of RAM, an NVMe SSD, it's an Intel branded SSD, um, and it's got a, um, a GTX 2060 for the video card in it, and it's just overall a great spec on the machine. So I get it home, I get everything installed, and it's performing great, and such a relief from the crashing system. But you still need to do optimizations in order for your audio workstation to work the way you want it to. Even with all of that, I was still getting pops and clicks. And so I went back to the very basics of what would I usually do with this? And so I have three tips that are absolutes no matter what you're doing to fix your DAW performance. Number one, if you have Wi-Fi drivers and you don't need them, kill them. Right, so in my case, this is a desktop computer, not a laptop. And so there's no good reason for me to use Wi-Fi. So in my network adapters, you go in here and you find your Wi-Fi and you can just say disable. And then it'll ask you, do you really want to do that? And I'm going to say, yes, I do. Because I'm actually using a wired network anyway. I'm not using wireless. I have no reason to use wireless. And if anything, it's going to conflict with stuff. So that's tip number one. If you don't need your Wi-Fi, turn it off. Tip number two, and this one actually goes for, really, if you're not using a laptop, if you're using a desktop, it doesn't matter if this is for digital audio workstation or not, change your power mode to performance instead of balanced or low power or whatever your vendor came with. And you can get to that by clicking on start, and then typing power and choosing one of these choose a power plan type things. In your choose a power plan, you want to make sure you're on high performance. And let me show you what this looks like if you're not. So if you go into the task manager and we drop this back down to balanced, watch on the performance tab here. Right now in high performance, I'm sitting at four and a half gigahertz. Now, I'm not overclocking this machine. I'm not doing anything special with it. It's just an i7 10th gen. Uh, pop that down into balanced. And watch what happens to that CPU speed. It will actually drop down to um, something less than that when it doesn't feel like there's a need to be at that speed. And of course, while I'm sitting here demoing the thing, something is going on in the background and it feels like it needs it. So it's not going to reduce uh, but if I were to turn something off, something different, or right now my CPU is running at about 27%, and that's because I'm doing Camtasia and I'm doing Studio One at the same time. But here's what I can tell you. This speed in balanced mode will not stay there. It will drop. You'll go down to 2.4, you'll go down to 2.8, whatever, right? Um, and that fluctuation in CPU 
is not good for applications who want all of the CPU. Click that thing in a high performance mode and you will notice a difference. Um, so we'll go out of that one. So make sure you leave that one in high. And then this one is one that absolutely made a huge difference even on this system in how the uh, effects worked. Now specifically, when I put this Abbey Road Studio plates on the send, now I've got that turned way down. If I turn it up, you can hear I've got some plate. Right, that particular one just absolutely wrecked the way that the system was working. Lots of pops and crackles, and the absolute number one, and this is tip number three, the number one thing that fixed this is making sure that your uh, processor is set to run in the right mode. So where you're going to do that is if you go to File Explorer, and there's about a dozen different ways that you can get here, um, right-click on this PC, go to the Properties. In that Properties screen, you're going to go to Advanced System Settings, and then in here under Performance, go to Settings, and then Advanced from there. And this setting right here for Background Services, all the difference in the world. When this is on Programs, which is what the default will be, that Abbey Road was absolutely cracking like mad. Um, now you'll see it, it is kind of crackling a little bit right now. Um, and I think that's primarily because um, I'm doing this uh, Camtasia thing at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out because it's annoying me. Um, but under ordinary circumstances, that shouldn't be. And I've actually got this um, running on a Studio 1824. I've got this running at 64 samples. And my processing is down at minimum 64 samples as well. Um, the Waves plugins are a little piggier than some of the others. I didn't run into these issues with the built-in ones. One, if you're not using Wi-Fi, disable it. Two, go to your power management. Make sure that your power management is set so that you're in high performance mode. And three, make sure that your background processes are prioritized over programs uh, so that your DAW will work more consistently. I hope that these three tips were useful for you. Please share this video with others. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Your support is appreciated. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your week.